What is up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are solving a geotech problem uh, that's probably going to fall under site characterization and drilling, but it's a great theory problem and theory comes at you uh, a lot on the exam. So we want to read through this carefully and then just use reasoning and engineering judgment to solve this stuff because that's really how you have to do it. There's no easy quick look up on a lot of theory questions. You're just going to have to use engineering to figure these things out. So let's go through this one. It says you need to drill 125 foot deep uh, through a uh, subsurface profile consisting of approximately 60 feet of loose, unconsolidated sand over hard bedrock. Which of the following drilling techniques is your best uh, best choice for this task. So we just need to go through each one of these and figure it out. So the first one is a hollow stem auger. Well, hollow stem auger is basically just a drill that's hollow in the stem. This is my basic drill. Check that out. Sweet graphics on this. Um, probably not a, a tip like that, but this is all hollow inside. A solid stem is very similar, but this thing is solid inside. We also have what they're calling rotary drilling, so it's very similar in that we have some sort of drill bit at the end. I don't know how to draw this very well, but you've probably seen these things. They have these bits on the end. They can drill through anything virtually. And Here's your hole. This is very rough, but you get the idea. And so with this, let's go through each one of these. So a hollow stem auger, this is really more suitable for shallow drilling. Um, and sampling so it's really not great for depths you know over a hundred and we're going 125 feet deep so if, if we're thinking about what the what they gave us here um, they told us that we have approximately let's say 60 feet here of sand and the rest of this is going to be bedrock so 65 feet of bedrock so we're going through some unconsolidated sand layer followed by a bunch of sin of bedrock so a hollow stem auger is not going to be our best choice because we know that's only really good for shallow drilling now a uh, solid stem auger is going to be similar it's really for shallow depths in soft or kind of moderately hard formations it's really not appropriate for the depth that we're going and this transition from sand into bedrock that's not going to be the best use for that so we're going to put x's on those next one is direct rotary drilling with air-based drilling fluid so if we have air-based drilling fluid if we're thinking about this and we're drilling down air gets shot down into this well if we're coming through the sand layer we could have these massive blowouts that happen on this thing as we go through the sand layer which is not good if we're using air uh, that's it's going to cause some stability issues in the loose sand which leads to potential blowout so that's not the best option for us but if we look at the next option it's the same thing but with water-based drilling fluid that definitely is the better method it does provide stability water gets shot down it comes back up and then we discharge it out of the hole um, it provides stability in this loose st sand layer and it also lubricates the drill bit in hard bedrock so it makes it the most suitable choice especially when we're drilling 125 feet so I'm gonna put a check mark there and that's gonna be the answer so if you're reasoning this one out the answer here is gonna be C for this one and uh, that's gonna be it so hopefully that's um, a good problem for you it gives you the ability to kind of reason these out know the information that they're giving you and uh, slowly figure this stuff out. But that's going to wrap up this problem. If you need more help, check out civilengineeringacademy.com. See ya.